community stand at the High Street end in the first half. And uh, the ball's quickly in touch, a throw. Uh, who's going to take this set piece? I think it'll be Josh McCoy. No, he leaves it for Miles Kenlock. In it comes to the far post. Header on target for the shots. Halifax playing inside their own half, senior to Summerfield, to Warburton. Warburton makes his way across halfway and plays the ball into the feet of Manny Di Zeruve, who you would have seen scoring coming off the bench in that, uh, oh, there's a ball through. Milanic Ali is not given offside, he's into the penalty area, can he get room for a shot? He squares it across and in, and I don't know how he's beaten Ashby Hammond with that shot. Such a tight angle, double flip and a somersault from Millie Ali. Here's Glover on the ball. He's going to go back again to Minoga. Minoga across to Kenlock on his debut. Down the left side, tries a ball in the inside channel. It's going to run all the way through, is it? Oh, Amaluza diverts it in towards goal. The keeper was out of his area. And now it's picked up by Ali. Shot comes in from Warburton, deflects up in the air and into the area and headed towards goal. And it's ended up in the net, but it won't count. Uh, Manny Di Zeruve flicked it on acrobatically as it came past him, but he was stood in an offside position. Up he steps, misses it, leaves it for McCoy, chipped to the far post, and it's headed away by Festus Arthur. And onto the loose ball is Millie Alley, the scorer of that 12th minute goal for Halifax. They've defended that one well. Roy Anderson heads the ball into the path of Fort Corner, who's still well forward. He has to get it under control, makes himself a bit of space, then threads it into the feet of Amaluza. Turns quickly, sharply. Good ball from him to Glover. Edge of the air, a shot comes in. Oh, I think it might have just scraped the outside foot of the post from Glover. Gone behind, goal kick to Halifax, 19th minute. Warburton exchanges passes with Hunter. He goes back to Festus Arthur. And Arthur will feed Tyler Golden out on the right touchline. Halifax building patiently. They had a good first half against shots in the game that was live on BT Sport here earlier in the season. But they didn't really hurt all the shot that much. Uh, and on that occasion, shots went on to win 5-1. But here's Manny Di Zerube. And here's Warburton picking the ball up on the edge of the air. Tries a shot. It's blocked by Minoga. Tries a second one. Feeds it to Manny Di Zerube on the left-hand side. He pulls it back. Warburton shot. Deflects off a shot player and almost goes in. Comes back off the upright, and now it's back with the feet of Warburton again, and the shot's living dangerously here. Stopped. Feeds Hunter. Now all the shot have won it with Partington, and they may counter themselves, but it's a poor ball from Karoy Anderson. It goes all the way through to Johnson. And there's another poor ball from Glover. He's given it away to Matty Warburton. He's looking for options around him, he might end up shooting, he eventually goes left to Mili Ali, and Glover does well to try and win it back, but he's buffeted off it, and Mili Ali shoots, comes down off the bottom of the crossbar, and Aldershot will clear it to safety. Aldershot looking to respond here and now, in the 41st minute, cross in from Karoy Anderson, goes over everybody, stay with us if you can for a few seconds, Aldershot still got it on the edge of the penalty area, and they've won themselves a corner, so the shot's working hard to get back in it, you can probably pick up the noise of the shots faithful in the background. Glover with the free kick, and it comes, Jordan gets his header on target, Talvin Campbell goes down, the ball goes behind the goal. It would have been a corner for the shots. The referee decides there's no time left. Town, replacing number 10, Matty Warburton, is number 19, Jamie Cook. Today. Oh, uh, shot could be on. in early on. Tyler Frost in on the right-hand side. Can he get a shot and it's cleared away by the legs of Sam Johnson and Tyler Frost with an immediate impact into the game. Great control from Justin Amaluza on halfway. Feeds Monoga. He's one on one against Summerfield. And skipping inside, outside, back outside. Uh, now he's down to the byline, running across in the penalty area. He's shoved and he goes down for a second time. And the referee gives a corner. Ball forward. Monoga into the penalty area. He goes down. Is that a penalty? Ref thinks about it and gives a corner again. And
Halifax just trying to get a foot in there. A really good win from Haji Minogue. Feeds Justin Amaluza. He's making his way down the right-hand side. Overlapping run from Frost. Frost squares it. It's past everybody. Can Carver keep it in? No. And it's more frustration from shots. In it comes. Flicked on. McCoy in the box. Tries a shot. Up over the bar. Was there a deflection? No. Goal kick to Halifax Town. Aldershot playing with one centre-back right now. Corners up. Oh, lovely turn from Amaluza. Gets away from two men to the edge of the area now. Plays it to Frost. Frost! Oh, Frost misses! Ball over the top. And let's hope I've not given him the commentator's curse here. Um, it's kept in play by the Halifax player. Does well against corner. He plays it inside. He's given it away! And Halifax are going to shoot from distance, and it's in the net. It's a deflection off Corey Jordan. And Tyler Corner did lose the ball. As the referee, he's trying to call the players back from celebrating with their fans. And there's no reason at all why they shouldn't do that. And it is the substitute, Harvey Gilmore, who had his shot from the edge of the area. Corey Jordan threw himself in front of it, and the deflection wickedly and cruelly went past Ashby Hammond. Cook back to Jesse Deborah forward. Ball bouncing around awkwardly. Cordner does well to win it and then loses out. Ball comes off of him though and it'll be a throw into Halifax. And there is the final whistle that signals the end of the Aldershot Town. Players, managers, staff and supporters dreams of going to Wembley. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.